yeah. start so I have some quality. You see me? Okay. Yeah. Recording. All right. Uh, do you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns? Anything? Good. All right. Good. You know, I couldn't find anything from TF North. I didn't have like something from TF North. I, but I do. I, 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 I know. I, but I do. I'm going to put, it's going to flash on the screen. Cowell made an amazing shirt back in 2006. That was uh, yeah, Jordan. What the, the Jordan. What the, men, what the men, what the men are doing when the boys are playing basketball, and it was a wrestling <laughs> shirt. So that's gonna flash on the screen right now because I'm that I'm going to go find it. But uh, if you guys have a question, who like right now, who's who's gonna take the the first heated question? Because this is gonna be the defining tempo of the interview. If you fail this part of the interview, it's uh -huh. not gonna go well for you. So uh -huh. who's gonna who's gonna <laughs> <laughs> who's, gonna, who's gonna take the bullet first? Rock, who's paper, going? scissors for it? Rock, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, okay, paper, scissors, throw it. Go ahead. Yeah, rock, go for it. Rock, paper, scissors, throw. Uh, again, rock, <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, throw. <laughs> <laughs> you go right. first. You All, go right. First. All right, Russo, you ready, man? This is, hey. this is, this, now, this is important. <laughs> no pressure, man. What's the name of the podcast? <laughs> You know, on the phone, I love Wakanda's first hero. I just think the, the play, as an English teacher, the play on words with your name. Like, I mean, that's what that's what I, Wakanda's first. No, hero. that's fair. I know uh, it's not the podcast, and I failed us, but uh, hey, he's the host of the podcast. Okay. Half a point. Half a point. Oh, no way. So how about this? We're going to give Altenberg the point for cheating, but Russo, put on your best mouth because you're going to join the Hall of Fame of people who come onto this show and don't know the name of the podcast. Put a, put a smile on there looking at you right now. Hey, there it is. It is. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Identity Booth, you guys. We, we're doing it. We're formatted. You can see the nice shapes. Everything's measured out. I edited this. There was some taste and a little bit of care given into this, and for good reason today. Today, we have some celebrities in the house. Eric, yeah. as always, our co-host is in the building. How you doing? I'm tired. I barely made it here from work, but I'm here. We appreciate you saving lives. Thank you, man. And, you know, it's like you always got to know something's up when you got these two smiling faces below us and around us. We got some celebrities in the house. Now, for all y'all that don't know, I used to be little. And by little, I just yeah, mean right. like six to 270 <laughs> pounds. And back in those days, I was a high schooler. And I had the luxury of going to the illustrious, stay on the north side, naughty north. The Zoo, a.k.a. TF North, Thornton Fractional North, District 215. And we have some of the finest teachers in the district right here joining us today. We have Altenberg and Russo. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Go ahead and say hello to the identifiers out there. Just, hello, hello. Just Thank know. you guys very much for having us. We really appreciate this. Yeah, absolutely. No, Thank you. No, and it's uh, we're here with good reason, good purpose. But before we dive in and all that, you know, just a little roundabout, give us an idea of who you guys are and, uh, you know, some of the things you guys teach and uh, how your teaching experience, how you even got into teaching. Just real quick, Russo, how'd you, how'd you come up on this uh, Thorn Fractional North? Uh, so I actually started student teaching. So when I was mm. in college, you're, you know, last semester, you're going in to be a teacher, they place you at a, at a school. And uh, I was fortunate enough to be placed at, at TF North High School. Um, where uh, I've been ever since. This is year 17. Wow, uh, so, you insane. know, usually when I when I look back and I say, you know, 17 years, you know, Hero, you're, you're getting old, man. Because you were there, <laughs> you were there, you were there at the beginning. Of so I had a, a, a lot less grays and a little bit more hair oh. back then. But, um, so yeah, this is year 17 and, um, you know, been there ever since the, the, the student teaching days and, and, uh, you know, I think it's this is going to be my it's my home, and you know, be a place where I retire from. So, excellent, excellent. What about you, Alton Burke? Uh, how'd you how'd you end up on wound up on the the north side of the line? I, I didn't student teach at North, but um, 
you know, through my trader. <laughs> wasn't my choice, but um, I, I was a, an athlete through high school and college, and um, that was kind of what brought me to, to, to be teaching the, the, the teaching coaching aspect. And uh, what got me in at North was I actually it was at a kind of an athletic story. I played uh, baseball, college baseball with uh, Mr. Floods younger brothers and played softball oh yeah and, flood, and played flood. softball against the the older floods and kind of hooked up with them we all went to the same college uh, you're a year couple years apart and everything but um, flood was the head baseball coach at that time and he knew that i was a baseball guy and uh, before i even was teaching at north i coached a couple of years of baseball because he, he needed the last minute a, a sophomore coach so i got on that's where i met mr russo so we kind of came in together him being a student teacher and me being a first year coach but uh, a couple of years later, there was an opening and I applied and got the job. And, and I was just a, a year behind him with uh, with a teaching job at North. So I've been there 16 years. And um, to, like Mr. Russo, it's my first, awesome. first job. It'll probably it'll be my last job. But we're right. lifers. We're in we're in it for life. And, wow. and uh, there's a lot of family aspects that we like about North. We have great people there. We love the students that are there. So. It's, it's been a great experience for the last 16 years, for sure. That's amazing. That's amazing. I mean, you know what the great thing is, is because, first of all, it's rare that I see guy teachers. <laughs> it's just rare that I see guy teachers. I'm so happy to see that y'all are there, that y'all bought in, because I know some of my most fond memories as a young person were the, were the males I that I had when I was in primary school and secondary school, those are the, those relationships I had, those kicks in the pants, those were the things that helped nudge me to be a better a better man. So I appreciate all the effort and energy you guys put into into your craft. I thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, no, absolutely, that. absolutely. And real quick, uh, Altenberg, where did, what did you, where are you teaching? Oh, I teach uh, U.S. history and AP U.S. history, um, and then in the past I have taught world history and uh, government as well. All right, and what about you, Russo? So I'm an English teacher. I have uh, freshmen and I have juniors as well. So I'm just a regular oh, English man. teacher. Oh, man. I, I, uh, so many emotions just came to my head. I just remember what the locker room smells like. Like I can literally taste that <laughs> locker room right now. There's so many things just came back to memory. Probably a real but, musty taste in your mouth. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh man, An Axe body spray. Good God. <laughs> but if I'm thinking back far enough, Hero, I don't think, I think you were still in the old locker room. No, I don't absolutely. think the newer locker rooms were built yet. Uh, no, no um, oh, 07. So like the new ones, yeah, I did get into, uh, my senior year, we got the new ones. Okay. But, okay. you know, all the seniors, we we were hardhead. We always went back to the old locker room and we just put the young bucks in there. We let the freshmen stay in there. They had to keep yeah. us separated because we knew, I, they knew I was taking lunch money from people. So they had to keep us separated. <laughs> they had to keep us separated. <laughs> But besides me being a uh, lunch money, lunch money, like my favorite uh, class was obviously recess and lunch. So besides those things, uh, what we want to talk about a little bit today and kind of give you guys a platform to uh, speak on is an event that you guys are taking part in. And, you know, you are you're constantly being told to make yourself visible, make yourself present for the the for the new future. Uh, sometimes me just showing up and buying whatever kids are at the local panels uh, lunch is sometimes that's all that I can do. Sometimes it's me walking through the hallway and jarring with the dean that they see in a different light. But to see that dean be sort of warm and cuddly to someone that they that they look at, it's like, wow, okay, this person has a personality outside of school. They're not this brash person. So like, whenever we do get this opportunity to kind of speak on what we can do for our community, it, it kind of rings true to what me and Eric speak about on this podcast. So I just want to kind of give you guys the platform to speak on what your plan is, what your goal is, and how you came about it. And, you know, just have the open floor. You guys take it. All right, so I'll start off. Um, so Russo and I have, co as we said, coached together for about a five-year stretch. We did student council together, putting on some community events and, and community service stuff. So that's kind of where our, our background is. We really, really enjoy uh, doing those types of things uh, for the kids, for the community. Um, so little backstory over Christmas break. I don't know if you know, if he told you Russo is an ultra marathoner, not just a marathoner, uh. but an ultra marathoner. So last... Uh, November, I believe it was, he ran uh, 50K, which is about 32 miles 
um, in, in the hills in Payless. So he was up and down. I, I had a knee injury. I was going to run part of it with him, but I wasn't wasn't able. But I came out there to support him, and, and so I'm at the finish line. And uh, so that that, that kind of sets me up for this story. So over Christmas break, we started. I told Russo I'm going to start running again. So I met him out for a couple runs. And he was talking about his uh, one of the guys that he follows, and you, you guys may know David Goggins, who's a oh, yeah, yeah. Mar- the Navy Marathon. He's one of my favorite books. Yeah, yeah, cra- crazy some of the things that he's done. And uh, you know, Russo has, has has plugged him all the time to me and given me advice with with some of the stuff that he's seen with him. And I have his book and have been reading that. But uh, he has that forty eight by forty eight challenge, so he runs four miles every four hours for. 48 hours and Russo's like I kind of want to do that and I'm kind of looking at him like, okay I believe you could do it and he, Russo said you know what I, can you run some uh, maybe a leg or two with me run some with me and I said well if you kind of thinking and talking them down maybe negotiate with them a little bit if if you do a 24 because I think I could train for that I'll do it with you and maybe we can do something do something big and and maybe make it a fundraiser so we, we, we did our, our kind of our training runs we kind of decided that was going to happen. And, and as we were talking over the next week, we came up with the idea, let's, let's turn this thing into a scholarship. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure Russo will talk a little bit about his friend that kind of inspired this, this story as well uh, from, from the Bremen district school district, but we wanted to give back a little bit. We've done community service stuff before, but this is, this was a lot bigger. This was kind of the, the biggest endeavor we'd taken on. And um, so throughout the runs, we were kind of throwing ideas back and forth. And we kind of came up with this E24 Endurance Award. Mm. And uh, the, the E24 kind of talking about the 24 miles that we're going to do in 24 hours. But the endurance part was kind of, I think, that big part. Uh, the endurance is kind of got a double meaning. It's one is going to be our, our challenge to try and endure the, 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 the run and, and the challenge there. But it's more speaks towards some of our students. Uh, Hero, you know, growing up in, in, in the area, it's, we're a Title I school. We've got, there's, there's issues all around the building, all around the community sometimes, unfortunately. Um, but our kids go through, a, they go through hell, some of them. And um, we wanted to focus on the kids that have endured all of these hardships. Um, maybe it's a loss of a loved one, or um, maybe it's an illness that they go through. But they've endured those challenges. They've they've overcome those obstacles and still come out kind of on top. And and um, and they've, despite maybe the odds against them, they've qualified to go into the military, or they qualified to go into college, or they qualified for trade school. And those are the kids that we wanted to focus on. So our our goal is to uh, give away two five hundred dollars scholarships to seniors uh, that have have exhibited those qualities that we're looking for and and another thing we want we we kind of talked about and wanted to do was we didn't want to have you know a writing assignment to go with it like an essay we didn't have an interview process there's no application process for this we wanted because a lot of those kids as, as i've been saying it they're in survival mode yeah. they're they're worried about where their next meal's coming they're worried about getting their family healthy maybe providing for their family sometimes so they might not be out there looking for scholarships and they might not be out there they might not even know that there, there's opportunities out there for them um, and and, it's, and and focus more on that survival piece. So we're kind of we call it kind of a scholarship, kind of an award because we are we want to surprise these kids with this money and hopefully jumpstart, you know, use that money towards maybe books or some stuff to go in their college dorm or maybe tools if they're going to go out into the trade, um, some some moving expenses if they're military bound. So we just want to have give them some kind of uh, a prize like. You know, even though you were going through this this stuff, there were people looking and there were people appreciating. You were inspiring a lot of people. Uh, maybe you didn't know it at the time, but here's this little award to show our appreciation that you inspired us. You inspired uh, a lot of the things that were going on that go around in, in that community and in our school. But you're you're a hero to us. You're a no no pun intended, Mr. Hero. <laughs> um, but that was just kind of our idea of of. Uh, focusing on kids that maybe are sometimes overlooked and not those kids that are, are killing it in the uh, grade wise, maybe uh, that are going to have those scholarships and those offers and stuff coming in. We're looking for those kids that maybe might not have that and, and might not know that it's out there for them. So. Mm. Wow. <laughs> what I speak to, I can say this with like my whole heart. Uh, TF North did such a great job of protecting the less than 
mm-hmm. population. It was, you know, for every high school, there's a amount of teasing that goes on. There's an amount of uh, grievance that goes on. But I distinctly remember no kid never not getting lunch because they didn't have the right number on their badge. I know that there was a fund set up for that with all the teachers who would donate to that. And uh, for the, what the world was back then, we were sheltered in the sense that we didn't let outside things rile us up. Like to see how engaged some of the students are in today's world. Um, I never really felt that pressure or tension of someone's watching me or someone's out to get me. We had a resource officer, we had our counselors, but more importantly, we had teachers like Russo and Altenberg who had zero issue coming to our level, speaking to us as if we are to be like, we're not, we're not a nuisance. We're not bothering. So that's definitely encouraging to hear and commendable. It's, it's super, uh, it's super fascinating to see that how much yeah. you guys have already given to the district and mm-hmm. still looking for more ways to give uh, Russo. I don't know if you wanted to add to that, but the yeah, was, yours. yeah, I was just thinking part, part of that is just being uh, on quarantine. We have not yeah. been in the building since last March. Wow. And, you know, we, I guess you kind of look at silver linings where you could find them. And, you know, we were talking about it. We don't know if we come up with this idea, if we're still in the building, because we're busy with coaching baseball, we're busy with our own kid stuff. And so just, you know, with, with being on quarantine, you know, it does pose the issue of, you know, this is a big obstacle for a lot of our students. Um, You know, the first few weeks or months of our school year was, uh, you know, when you talk about the TF North community, dean's assistants, IT people, administration, teachers, bringing kids iPads and tablets just to make sure that they're able to get on uh, on their Zoom calls on time, Mm -hmm. right? Um, So, but you know, with that, the quarantine also brought us us this, a, a little bit of extra time to where, you know, I was running a little bit more uh, and he was able to jump on board and, you know, this idea of, well, now I got the time to do this Goggins challenge that I've been wanting to do. He jumps on board. Um, you know, as he was saying, we've coached baseball. We've done student council together. There's no other person in that building I'd want running this thing, you know, with. And uh, it's kind of where the the award was was born, you know. So oftentimes when you have some crazy situations going on in the world, you know, there's some beauty that's born out of that as well. And I think that's where this, you know, part of where this award was created, you know, just having that opportunity with all the time and the craziness going on. No, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I don't, Eric, me and Eric were talking about this and we heard the backstory and this really motivated us because uh, me and Eric have goals and aspirations as far as we talk about how we have internet poor, communities that yes. that are we we talked to a few teachers on the podcast already who have to still mail snail mail their students paperwork because they don't have internet access so yeah. we try to do our our best to help them with that situation and i think me and eric and the identity booth family is going to be able to help out so what our goal was for this is from here on out um For every episode, every podcast, every show we have, I think we put out three episodes every day and one live stream, all proceeds as far as donations will go directly to this cause up until I think you guys said May 7th, May 8th. We're perfectly fine with that. So me and Eric talked about that. Um, Some people pointed at me, some people yelled at me, Um, (laughs) (laughs) but me and Eric run the show. So we get to do stuff like that. So you're, if you're watching this right now in the description, there will be a link to the GoFundMe or the sign up page. Please feel free to link up and follow the direct um, instructions on that. Uh, uh, if you hit our donation link on our Twitch live stream or any of our proceeds, all of that will be going towards that. So feel free to use any of the links. We will make a donation on your behalf. Uh, it's a great cause. It's, I can speak to it because it's my past. I'm living proof that TF North can produce, like whether it's (laughs) you pick the Super Bowls, you can pick the education or you can pick the surgical status from North is possible. (laughs) That's the, that's the gist of it. Uh, I really want to commend you guys for taking this step and going the extra distance in a world today where there's so much already being taken from people, you guys who have 
what you have have still found a way to give so much more so that is more than commendable it deserves highest praise and i hope that this gets to the eyes and ears that it needs to so that you guys can do more than what was expected uh that's the north way have some pride about it and get it done so i really appreciate you guys you know coming on the show talking about this in depth uh for all intents and purposes eric where can they find us first of all they first of all you can go right here to youtube make sure you go in the description box and click that link make sure you go donate first that's the most important thing then you can like share and subscribe after that and then you can hit our link tree we're everywhere like visa so just yeah. make sure you do that but please support teachers who care about the kids because again if we don't make any investment into the next generation we're going to be worse off in the next generation and it's very important so we support the cause we appreciate you guys coming on we love what you're doing and this just makes my heart warm because it, it immediately took me back to when i was when i was a kid and the impact that you know those teachers had on me too coach yeah, thanks for having me definitely definitely absolutely and uh <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you guys we'll be on a live stream on tuesday you guys know the routine like share subscribe put on your mask take care of yourselves uh be good to each other uh we like to thank our guests also Bert, russo thank you guys so much for joining us uh, thank you very much. Tell, tell, tell the kid tell the kid that you don't like right now that you got peace so i can <laughs> Slow it down and we can catch the vibes, the vibes.